Sports teams in downtown Phoenix is very much up in the air. ABC 15's Mike Pelton looking at the big picture tonight. Mike, joining us live, a lot of people seeing this as a slam dunk. Yeah, and the Suns are already bragging a little bit here outside of Talking Stick Resort Arena. Of course, we don't yet know who the Suns are going to take with that top pick, but some people believe this will put the Phoenix community on a winning streak for years to come. I was stressing out over there. Yeah, I was, I was kind of biting my nails. The concern? The Suns wouldn't get the first pick. Jake Rosenstein runs the Deuce at Central and Lincoln downtown. Hugely excited as a Suns fan and hugely excited as a business owner down here as well. Jake hopes to see a break from bad basketball. The Deuce opened in 2010. They were great. They were in the Western Conference Finals. We drew a ton of business from that. We haven't seen much in the era that they've been terrible, but the fact that they're actually building towards something is pretty exciting down there. It's a good day for Phoenix. It's a great day. Brian Cassidy is the chair of the Warehouse District Council, a booming community south of where the Suns play. They literally are the catalyst that got downtown back in the right direction. And, it, and they're just getting this number one pick is just going to help build on that momentum. The excitement comes amid murky futures for the Suns and D-backs. Renovations needed at Talking Stick Resort Arena. Meanwhile, the D-backs have a chance to move out of Chase Field around 2022. It would take years to redevelop the real estate state that they currently occupy um, so it could take a generation to really recover from the teams leaving downtown a hope there's no sunset on the excitement jake says the number one pick could have suns fans packing in by the spoonful it matters to people's moods if the teams win it really does it impacts us if the teams win